Hi everyone, this is Steffi and Cherry. Hello. And you can't see us. There you go. <laughs> we are live at Madison Seminary for our two night investigation. This is night number two. So where we are right now, I'm gonna show you just a moment. We are up in the attic, which was the asylum and housed the mentally ill patients or anybody that was committed for a variety of different reasons. Some pretty crazy ones, especially, you know, if you're a woman, knew how to do math, things like that. Um, and they ended up housing quite a bit of individuals here. Um, and they would get a certain amount of money for each body that they had residing here. It's like five, five dollars a head, but back then that was a lot, so they cram them in here. Mm -hmm. So right now we're in a section where Rudy resided. Um, we have some objects Rudy likes uh, is said to like light up trigger objects. So we have some cat balls, we have a light up fidget spinner. We're gonna see if Rudy wants to play with any of these devices and uh, make them go off right now. And we're gonna show you how Rudy had actually carved his name into the floor in the windowsill. This is the, <laughs> the original flooring um, from when this was the asylum up here. So let me show you guys where we're at. Hi everyone. Here we go. That's perfect. So this is the asylum. Give you a little little look see here. We have the thermal imaging camera set up to go off if anything goes above or below the high and low we have set. And we have our EDI meter here, measuring humidity. EMF, vibration, temperature, and pressure. And we have Miss Jerry Huff. And the muscle. <laughs> She's the muscle. And then we have, can you see? Yeah. Me? We have you. Oh, can you hold this? And I'm going to show you guys what we have on the floor here. We have cat ball one, two, and three. I'm going to show you that walking around these cat balls, supposedly, hopefully, does not set these off. Um, they are motion balls, so they actually have to be um, swatted or moved a little bit to go off. So I'm wearing lots of heavy winter clothing because it is freezing in here. And um, boots, and I did not set off any of these balls. Now, we also have somewhere. The fidget spinner right behind you. Behind Yep. It really oh, is. I yeah, it's really camouflaged. So we have a light fidget spinner here. This is pretty cool. Um, we light up all three sides. Rudy, if you are here with us right now, which would be phenomenal, um, we have another light up fidget spinner for you. You just literally have to spin it, and it makes light. It makes these amazing colors and patterns and designs. It looks really awesome. And these balls, I'm going to show you how they work. You literally just have to not just the slightest bit, and it lights up, and it makes pretty colors, and it's so fun. So I know you like to play with them. We've heard you like to play with them. You like colors. So we brought these for you to have some fun. Um, if you want to come over here with it, touch the, yeah. the light. <laughs> um, we'll show you where Rudy's name is carved. Um, there's two locations. His name is carved here. R-E-D-Y, um, we don't know exactly what was used to carve his name because they couldn't really have carving utensils. So there's theories. I don't think he did this with his teeth, but his nails, I mean, that sounds incredibly painful. <laughs> um, and then we have the second one. This is literally right behind this pillow here. And we have R-E-D-Y, yep, right there. Um, again, that is carved into the sill, window sill here. So this is this flooring is the original flooring. You can tell it's it's still busted. We got some walls kind of falling down. So um, we know for a fact that that's original. So somebody named Rudy was definitely here. Um, so right now um, we're gonna see if Rudy would like to come play with our light up toys that we brought for him to to use and see what happens. Rudy, are you, if you're here right now with us, would you like to come over and light up one of these uh, cat balls 
Or would you like to spin that light up uh, colorful triangle right there for us, please? It'd be a lot of fun. Any light can, you guys just gotta tap them just the tiniest bit, or I mean, you can try to kick them across the floor. You can roll them to me. I'll sit right here. Um, and you can try to roll them to me or light them up and we can communicate that way. We can play a game, whatever you'd like to do. Can you light one of those up for me, please? How about we play a game and I guess which one you're going to light up? I'm going to think of one of the three balls, either the one on the left, the one on the right, or the one in the middle. And I'll tell you when I have it in my head. And then you go ahead and light up the ball and we'll see if I was right. Okay, I got one in my mind. Go ahead. Light up one of the balls, please. You want to light them up right now? You know what? You can work on it. If it takes you a while to figure out how to do it, um, we got to start and do that. Okay, we'll do a quick EVP session, see if we can talk to everybody. And then we have probably the creepiest hallway I have ever had the pleasure of sitting in and um, hearing, hearing voices, hearing growling, and seeing some beige colored. Anomaly, uh, uh, figure, part of the figure, go into a doorway. So we're gonna take you there next. Yes, yeah, so it's pretty creepy indeed. Yes. So for right now, um, I guess we can have a seat. Birdie, we're gonna have a seat here. Um, whoa. Oh, that's the that's the that light from the camera. camera. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I couldn't tell what that blue light was. Okay, Rudy, so definitely go ahead and, and light those up if you'd like. Uh, sure, you definitely let me know if you see these light up, okay? Oh, for sure. Okay. Ooh. And it is dark. Yeah, it is. Okay. Do you get the flashlight? <laughs> oh, wait. I should go. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do now is a quick EVP session to see. Um, let's see if we can get this. Can I? That's a little bit without, <laughs> without being Halloweenish. Great. If we could help him. You gotta get comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. So we have this audio recorder now, and we're going to. Oh, this I'm blind. I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> is that okay? That's fine. We're gonna do um, an EVP session to see if we can talk to Rudy. Um, let's see if he's here. So, Rudy, are you here with us right now? You know what? We're going to be located away from this window. It's a little windy. Yeah. Stay with us, guys. <laughs> Just a moment. Um, let's go. Not near that. That camera. Let's go right over here. It shouldn't be too, too loud over here. Plus, we can still see the balls if they go off. Yeah, if you set this light. So we have some good light over here. Like if you just set that there. Uh, yeah, perfect. Okay. So we're going to... Perfect. We're going to start this again. So we're up in the asylum doing a quick EVP session to see if Rudy's here, if we could talk to him. Because he doesn't seem to either know how to light up our objects or want to at this moment. So Rudy, if you're here right now, can you please come up to this box in my hand with the orange light? It's um, something that's going to help us hear you better. And... Could you scream your name as loud as you can into this box, please? Did you hear that? Do you think that was popping your dimension? Because it was like... No, oh, it was Rudy. It was... It was... It was... He said it was... Like... Rudy? 
Rudy, what's your last name? What was that? His last name was what? I almost heard a pee. Rudy, were you here as a patient when this was a hospital? Yes, I was here as a patient. Rudy, was was this the area? I think this used to be a rec room, right? Did you come here to spend time uh, with with other people and visit with family in this room? I'm glad that you're up here and that it's it's you. Rudy, do you really like to um do you like to play with or do you like the, the things that make um the lights that light up and that um make it bright and fun up here? Do you like those? Yes I do. You're that. It's like I do like them, yeah. Yeah. So it's fun. Rudy, do you think you'd be able to light up one of the cat balls for us? Yes, I can. Can you show us? Can you show us now, Rudy? That would be awesome. We would really, really, really appreciate it. We're hearing a lot, a lot of talking. Um, let's see. Okay. Maybe he's not able to. Do you have any friends here, Rudy? That's awesome. That's great. We're glad that you do. Uh, how old are you, Rudy? Rudy, um, we heard that you were, well, what we heard, well, I heard, was that you're 129. If that's correct, can you say, that is correct. If I'm wrong, can you say no, please? That is correct. You heard it? Yeah. Okay. Rudy, it's very nice to meet you. And we were here yesterday, and we didn't get a chance to talk to you much. So, um, and I'm sure you remember, my name is Steffi, and this is Charity, and we're really glad to be able to talk to you today. And it's okay if you can't link those up right now. Um, you can keep working on it. We'll be here, and we're going to come back, and we're going to talk to you more. Is there anything else that you would like us to know, or you would like anybody, um, a message you'd like to get out that you would um, want us to share for you? Rudy, 
Are you happy here? I can hear you. Well, that's, that's fantastic. Rudy will be back very shortly to talk more with you. We're going to move on now. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, not sure. We'll be back, Rudy. Thank you so much. Thank you. you can play with those balls and the uh, capo and the um, light up fidget spinner and, you know, work on trying to use those. And we Make sure to follow us on HTI. Yeah, so we're going to go over. <laughs> we're going to take you guys over now. Oh, okay. To the hallway here where a lot of the patients when it was in the asylum were housed. Um, and this is where yesterday when we were here, we heard growls. We heard voices. We got we, some names. Yeah, we got the name Arthur. Um, there's somebody at the end of, oh, what was the name again? Oh, wait. Did they go in there? The surgeon. Oh, there's the surgeon. Oh, yeah, the surgeon's room. Oh, we never got the female's name, did we? Well, there's a room at the end of the hallway where I saw the beige colored, looked like a piece of fabric of this, somebody's clothing walking into the room. First time I've ever seen anything that I can explain that had no other reasonable, scientific, logical explanation for it. So let's go. Let's go. Um, you want to stop this and send it to Yeah. We're, yeah. We're going to go back live with you guys. Both of us. Back live with you guys in about three minutes. We'll see you there. Bye. Hi everyone. Yeah. We are. um hi everyone. Hello. We are back. It's HTI. Uh Steffi and Charity. Yeah. Here comes come in the room. Um and we are still up in the asylum, but now we are in the surgeon's room. Um this is the room that a gentleman is supposed to reside in that is still here, um, and he was a surgeon um, at some point. And we were here yesterday when we were investigating, and I'm trying not to get shadows of your face. Um, and he um, was actually um, communicating, with us, communicating with us with the flashlight. So we're gonna try that right now. I'm gonna show you guys what we're working with here. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is the surgeon's chair. We have our millimeter up here. Um, this actually has its own. So hi, Mr. Surgeon, sir. This has its, oh, wow. Oh, is it the phone? It could be. Nope. But not necessarily. Nope. Wait, might be actually. Okay. So, sorry guys, millimeter. What was that? Wait, did you put the flashlight on? What flashlight? On the chair. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, so this is the millimeter that measures EMF. Um, and it also has its own run. Can you hold this? Yeah. It has its own um, run field. So I have nothing that just leaves this off. So this is how that works. So, surgeon, uh, if you're here, you can go ahead and get close to this stick or antenna, and this will not hurt you. This just lights up and makes very basic noise, but it lets us know you're here and helps us communicate with you, and you just have to get close to it. That's all you have to do. Um, so we had something similar here yesterday, which was a REM pod, which is a circular device, um, and it had the colors on the top. You did a great job with that. So you can do the same thing. We highly appreciate it. We would know that you're here and we can communicate with you that way. Now over here on the table of surgeon utensils, we have the flashlights that we had um, yesterday as well and that you're communicating with us through. So the black one and the blue one, black on the left, blue on the right. So if you would like to communicate with us now and we would really appreciate it if you could, and I'll step away. Could you please light up one of those flashlights just to let us know that you would like to communicate and that you're able to, please?
Can you light up the blue flashlight, please? You just had to um, twist it just a little bit. Um, we also think maybe getting close to it with um, your energy um, would actually turn it on as well. Maybe not twisting it. Can you try to turn on those flashlights, please? You did a great job yesterday. Or you can go ahead and light that up. Anything that you can do just to let us know that you are here and you would like to communicate with us. We didn't like to do it on command yesterday either. So let's do an EVP session and wait to see if you will if you'll light those up. Because yesterday about that guys we have a poor wireless connection here, so we keep getting kicked off. Um, but we are trying to finish this, and it is dark. <laughs> so we are going to wait to see if the surgeon is here and would like to communicate with the flashlight or the REM pad, mm -hmm. uh, malmeter, excuse me. So for now, um, yeah, actually, let's see if you can kneel now. Them. For now, we're going to do a quick um, EVP session here and see if we can talk to the surgeon. Okay. So, hello, sir. Um, we know that you are a surgeon. You were a surgeon. Um, and I'm assuming you're a surgeon up here when this was a hospital, used for a hospital. Can you let us know that you're here? Can you say the words peanut butter? really loud please into this black box with this orange light it's going to help us hear you better so again please scream scream as loud as you can the words peanut butter I hope you guys can hear that it was like around the hallway down the hall it was back there. It was over there. Yeah, that in there too. Yeah. There were peanut butters coming in from every direction. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. So there's um, definitely quite a few people here, um, and this is directed at the surgeon. Can you please scream your name? Did you hear that? Is a scream? No. There's a lot of noise going on back there. Asylum guys from the other direction. So we came, we were down there to the right. <laughs> that was where Rudy was. Sorry about all the dust. And we came back here for uh, the surgeon's room. Oh, let's finish this real quick. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, again, uh, this is directed at the surgeon. Can you please? Scream your name as loud as you can into the box in my hand so we can know your name, sir. I'm trying not to breathe because I hear. I am the camera died. I'm sorry, we're having a hard time. Hearing you that time, can you please scream your name one more time for us? Mark? Are you hearing Mark? You're a little bit of like a Mar Marcus. Marcus? I heard Marcus too. I wasn't sure it was Mark or Marcus. 
Ay, tengo que imaginar. Well, thank you. I'm sorry about that. That was, that was the inside joke. <laughs> um, but, okay. So, did we hear correctly? Is your name Marcus? If that is correct, can you say that is correct? If it's not, can you say no? It's the wrong name. Wrong something. Did you hear all that over there? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Uh, we're sometimes hard to hear um, what's being said. Can you give us one, give it another shot and scream your name as loud as you can and, and very slow so we can try to hear it better, please? Isaiah? I think it's Isaiah. Isaiah, I heard it's Isaiah. Yeah. You heard it? Can you spell it? Please. Me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Can you spell your I'm name, please? I'm going to try. Um, yeah. Wait, hold on first. If your name is your name Isaiah, if that is correct, can you say that it's correct? And if it's not, can you say no? That is correct. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Isaiah. Nice to meet you too, Sally. Nice. Did you hear that? I heard, I heard a voice. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's awesome. Isaiah, can you tell us your last name? Please? Thank you. We're going to listen to that and see if we can um, hear it. We'll be back to ask you more questions. Um, did you want to turn on those flashlights at all for us? We'd really appreciate it. And um, we'd be really grateful for you if you could, I mean, for you to do so. If you can, please. Please. <laughs> Pretty please. Right. <laughs> Or can you go near that device in the chair and light it, make it, make noise and light it up, please? If you sit in the chair, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. It's pointy. That's all right. You can keep trying and we'll come back if we hear it. Um, we're going to go down the hall. We're going to go down the hall. Yeah. Yesterday, one of these flashlights were on. Oh, they were going on and off like crazy, remember? Okay. All right. So we're going to take you guys down the hall. This hall. Do you mind holding this for a second so I can get this camera? And the flashlight. Am I holding it? Oh, yeah. I should be very careful not to press the button. Yeah. I will be very careful. So, this hallway. Um, this only got me yesterday. It really got me. I heard a girl coming from down there. Um, what was the device we were using? Oh, we used the spirit box in the portal right. here. And we have a spirit box portal session. Um, we were hearing lots of intelligent responses. We are on their singer names. Um, we actually met Arthur, which is in one of these two rooms back here. Um, Arthur was communicating with us a lot. And we're very thankful for that. What was that? <laughs> that, was, that was me. Okay. Stepping on the floor. Sorry about that. Okay. And so 
so oh, I won't take that <laughs> And then down here, at the end of this hall, to the left of that chair, um, is where I saw um, a beige, looked like a, maybe a trail of a fabric of fabric, fabric of clothing, if I can talk, um, that went into the room to the left. Um, first time I've ever seen anything that I, I can't explain. We went down there. There's nothing in there. There's nobody in there. Nothing that would have done that. Um, with my own eyes, not a, it's not dust, not a bug. Um, it wasn't through a camera. Very interesting. So this, this hallway. So I want you guys to see uh, what it looks like for us. Because we have a... No, turn the flash on. I want to see what it looks like for us. So we have a flash on the phone. So that we're filming with for you guys. This is what we see. And... Oh, I thought that was the person that sure scared me so bad. Um, and this is a little bit brighter than what we see because we do have a camera that is filming down this this um hallway yeah we'll go down there definitely and take you guys down okay and then in these rooms oh, these rooms they're they're just empty rooms but these were how did i lose a glove um but they, yeah, actually, but you do yeah. that's wonderful yeah. we trade yeah. <laughs> Do you mind helping? Oh, no, no. Okay. There you go. So these rooms were. Sorry, I want to open everything. Okay, I'm going to Look at that. Does it call me down? Try not to flashlight down. Ooh. Oh, is there the dumb waiter? Can you get that in there? Look at that. Do they have two of them? Was that one that they were talking about? Interesting. Don't worry, I won't drop it. That's awesome. Yeah, please don't drop it. <laughs> okay. Put the phone back to see. <laughs> okay. Um, so these rooms were all. Is this that? These rooms were all. I mean, look how small these rooms are. Especially the ones at the end. They were all uh, patient rooms, and there were more than just one person in cramped in space rooms. Especially the ones that we're about to show you, what we saw. The figures and um, the tour guide that we had yesterday gave us a quick tour. Actually, told us that these two rooms at the end, where I had seen something go into the room, were um, the rooms that were known for Peter. Something beat. Probably came and I. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was just one chirp. Yeah, it probably was. Okay. Oh, and there's the tambourine up here. That's right. Remember, I thought I heard that. Oh, yeah. I thought you heard. Or, that's, yeah. It is so cold. <laughs> so this is the room. Um, so guys, take a look at this room. It is tiny, and there's a tarp for some reason. But could you imagine not just one person being in here, but several people or a couple people having this be the room that they reside in? Um, Go back. Let's do any PP session. Is there anybody um, in this room today? If you remember us from yesterday, my name is Steffi and this is Charity. And we're here to communicate with anybody that is here and can't be seen but would like to talk and would like to have some company. If you're here, can you say the, word, the words peanut butter real loud for us, please? Yeah, no, I definitely heard a few. Oh my goodness, thank you. And what was your name again? Martha? Hi, it's... Third Martha. I'm having a hard time. Did you say your name was Martha? Okay, my left leg feels warm. 
Good. And I feel like kind of like a little prickly, but it's it's did, warm. Did you put a um, no, hand warmer down song. there? <laughs> <laughs> Can you press that button to turn the camera back around? This one right here. Oh, well, I work with your gloves. Is it that? Did you know they see the arrows on there? Yay. Okay, so we have to make it. It is freezing. We have no heat whatsoever yeah. in this building, so we've we have to stick hand warmers everywhere. <laughs> and Charity, so there's no hand warmer. No there. hand warmer, but your but your leg feels. No, it just felt like it was warming up. It was the oddest. Okay. Thing. Mm. Yeah. All right. And a little. Oh, it feels like... warm right here. Interesting. And this like literal like. I mean, there's feel, not a warm spot right here, in the building. Feel, there's not a no. There's absolutely no heat in this building. It's absolutely freezing. Did you feel it like here? Like I feel yeah, warm. Like right there. Yeah. Very interesting. But like you know, our theory with that is we look for warm spots, more our uh, warm temperatures, um, temperature increases more or less than. Um, the decreases because we believe that with um, spirits, spirits trying to manifest or speaking um, any kind of manifestation, that's the word, right? <laughs> um, is um, they're using, they are energy and they're using energy to do so, um, which is going to create heat before the cold. So I, we believe that the cold spots is after the man, they have manifested or they've spoke. So we're really looking for. The temperature increases the um, warm spots, mm -hmm. warmed temperatures, um, because we wanna we wanna get in the action before it's over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you guys one last thing here. If can you do that? Can you hit yeah. the button again? Or, oh wait, you, other way. Yeah. Right. Okay. Thank you. Oh, finish. Oh, continue. Can you? Hit, continue <laughs> okay sorry guys um so this is the other room same size same tiny room um unbelievable to think of that many um or you know a few you or even a couple of people in there um and thank you martha if that was your name or you know we'll be back is there anybody here that can make that tambourine right here hanging on this this door can you make that ring um make us make it make a sound please is that possible anybody tall enough to do so Okay, that's all right. <laughs> that is perfectly okay. All right. Okay, girl. Look at this hallway. We're going to stay here for a while. We're going to see what we hear. Um, we're going to see if we, we heard a growl coming from that direction yesterday. That was so loud. Um, I got so excited I had to run and get Cherry. <laughs> so she can experience it too. We got here. So just more of the same rooms, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, it's a lot of these rooms are like this. It's just it's kind of sad. It's a very... This is a more luxurious one. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit bigger. We got a chair here. Arthur, are you here with us? Crazy out there. <laughs> All right, so can you turn it around one more time? Okay, and I'm gonna to put this you. here. Yeah, come down and go down here. 
All right. Let me get in there, Jill. All right, so <laughs> we're trying to get the lighting. It's really, it's really hard, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining us um, on our live uh, two-day investigation at Madison Seminary. Um, video will come soon for the entire investigation on all of our findings, all of our evidence, all of our experiences. I'm a little backed up making the videos. We got Wildwood Part 4 coming out, and we have Bird, Virgin House. We have Van Horn, um, another Wildwood, a, lot of evidence on a couple Hinsdales, some cemeteries. Um, we got a lot coming for you guys. Um, but this investigation has been incredible. We are so, so, so grateful. And, well, yeah, we can't wait to come back. Yeah, we are so happy we did this. This mm -hmm. it's it's amazing to be able to be here for two whole nights in a row. So, and the night is gone. <laughs> yes, it is. All right, we will talk. We'll see you guys later and tell you all about it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>